Ashares herself. Nithira, if you would be so kind. Of course, Asir. Nithira brows her, bows her head in acceptance and steps forward and begins to speak. The drow have ever been ruled by the matron mothers who head the great houses. The Valshares was once one of these, ruthless and powerful in her art, but no more so than any other matron mother. But then Loth, the queen of spiders and goddess of the drow, disappeared, and drow society was thrown into utter chaos. The Valshares seized on this opportunity. She summoned a powerful duke of the Nine Hells, an archdevil she bound to her service. Drawing on this enslaved devil's power, she became a conqueror of the Underdark. Once the Underdark is hers, she will turn her attention once more to the surface. She believes herself a queen, a Valshares by our town, and her ambition knows no end. Hmm. How does she bind an archdevil to her service? That we do not know. Perhaps through some artifact or some long forgotten ritual. But whatever her methods, the results cannot be denied. The priestesses of Loth are powerless before her, and the great drow houses have bent knee. Just as many of the other Underdark races have been intimidated into joining her cause. Okay, so. But now the Valshares can't reach Waterdeep now. Laster is free. As each day passes, the Valshares' hold over the Underdark strengthens, and so does her power. You stopped her plans in Undermountain for now, but she'll find another way. It won't be long. At best, you've bought us some breathing time. Okay, so what do you propose we do now? Yes, that is a good question. What are we to do now? There is only one thing that I can do. I must put my faith in the goddess, and that means putting our faith in you. Our fate lies in your hands. A nearby tiefling steps forward, alarm evident on his face. Are you sure, Seer? How do we know, what do we know about this, this man? He could be the death of us all. The seer holds up a delicate hand, gently forestalling him. Our lives are irrelevant, good Valen. The Valshares must be stopped at all costs, and Ateres is the key to stopping her. You know I don't believe in your ways, Seer. I won't throw my life away by blindly following anyone, and I don't think anyone here should either. You have saved us more time than I can count, Valen. Saved us more times than I can count. But the army of Val the Valshares shall soon march against us, and even your great skill in battle will not be enough to save us. The tiefling scowls. I will def... I am willing to defer to your judgment for now, Seer. What makes you think this human stranger can stop the army of the Valshares? Seer turns to face you. Ateres, I know you are a paladin of great power, but you are so much more than this. You alone can save us from the Valshares. Okay. Okay, I'm honored by the faith you put in me, Seer. All the drow here in Lith... My Mayathar will stand against the Valshares. She is the one enemy common to us all, but even our united strength will not be able to defeat her massive army. Our only hope is for you to find some way to strengthen our forces or to weaken the Valshares and her allies. Nathira can help you with this. I can give you information on the Valshares' allies and where to find them. Perhaps we might consider striking at her through her friends or turning them to our side. Valen, the tiefling warrior, adds, I can also help. I know much about the legend of the Underdark. I've heard po rumors of powerful artifacts and allies we might be able to acquire. Hmm. I'm glad to see you're over your suspicions. I haven't set aside my suspicions yet, but if you truly are the savior the seer thinks you are, then I'm willing to give you a chance to prove it. So it appears you are not alone in this. N uh, n n <laughs> I, I, I screw her name up every time I see it. I keep on wanting to say Nyathar for some reason. Nathira and Valen will help you. Uh, they know much about the Underdark and the Valshares. Do not be afraid to ask them for help. Hopefully you can find a way to strengthen our forces or weaken the Valshares before her army descends upon us all. I have some questions for you. Seer nods. Very well. I will answer what questions I can. Hopefully my knowledge can help you find some way to weaken the Valshares. Okay. <clears throat> Let's know, about, more, know more about my allies here. All those who stand against the Valshares have gathered here in Lith Mayathar. 
uh, united in our common desire to see her stopped. Many of the drow here are followers of my lady, Elistre. I think that's how you say that. Uh, but there are others, too. Lithmiathar is an ancestral home of the house Mavir, uh, one of the many drow families that has been forced to flee the cities because of the Valsharez. The followers of House Mavir may stand with us against the Valsharez, though in other circumstances they would never ally themselves with the followers of Elystre. <clears throat> that probably makes for some tension. The sigh, the seer sighs. It is not my nature to speak ill of those who side with us, but I will admit that House Mavir is not the most desirable of allies. There is tension and mistrust on both sides. We have little choice. The Valsharez has a vast army. We need allies if we are to stand against her. House Mavir recognizes this, and that is why they tolerate our presence here. For now, the threat of the Valsharez is enough to ensure my followers and those who support House Mavir will set aside their hatred for each other and focus on a common foe. Something else. You're a drow. What's to stop me from killing you all now? I'm not gonna say that. Why are you called a seer? It was not always known as such, my friend. Long ago, I was the daughter of a major house and as ambitious to gain my own power as any other respectable drow. That is not meant to be, however. She gestures to the drow around her. I found the worship of my lady Elystre, and she has gifted me with vision that have aided her followers. And so I am called the Seer for, for so many years now that my original name has all but been forgotten. In any case, the life is behind me. Now I serve Elystre. Tell me about her. The Seer's eyes twinkle as she smiles warmly. Obviously, this is a subject dear to her heart. Many do not know it, but not all of the drow are evil. Our Lady Elystre is a mistress of song and dance. It is she who refuses to allow joy and goodness to be taken from us forever. She is our redemption, and all of us journey to the surface lands to be free of the darkness that shackled us. The fact that we are in the Underdark once more to serve her cause is an irony not lost on us. Tell me about your visions. I see what my goddess grants me, uh, the wisdom to see. I saw that the drow would devolve into chaos and that the Val of Shires would arise out of it. I see the destiny of my people as it will be and our place in it. That is why we have returned to the Underdark from our adopted home on the surface. I also had visions of you, Revin. Uh, that is how I knew you would come. Your visions of me. <clears throat> It is said that you would come, and that you would be the one to bring about the Valsharez's defeat. Her eyes narrow. You already know what I speak of, don't you? You mean the dream back at the inn. She nods. And you have seen it. The Valsharez knows of the danger you represent, as she will not rest until your, your threat is eliminated. She's already attempted to have you killed on the surface, I believe, and that will not be the last time she attempts such, I assure you. Okay, so you lead these drow, then are you a priestess? I lead my fellow followers of Elystre, yes, though not all the drow gathered here believe as I do. Many of the drow here do not follow Elystre at all, uh, though I am one of my lady's chosen. Okay. Okay. I'll ask you something else. <clears throat> okay. Tell me about the Underdark. Deep beneath your surface lands, beneath even the dungeon you call Undermountain, exists a vast realm of caverns, the black and blackest lakes that collectively we call the Underdark. It is here that the drow rule alongside such other creatures, such as the Illithids and Beholders and the Draugr. The Underdark is a place of evil and terror, make no mistake. Every step must be taken carefully here. More specifically, we are in a very remote drow settlement called Lithmiathar, on the far side of the Great Lake, Memory. Our forces are relatively safe here until the Valsharis comes. The Illithids, those are the uh, Cthulhu-type things, right? Yup. <laughs> Calls them Mind Flayers, yup. Dangerous monsters with blank eyes and tentacles for a mouth. Your kind calls them Mind Flayers as well, I believe. They are most cunning and able to use powers of the mind to stun you and render you helpless, at which point they would feast upon your brain if given a chance, or make you into a mindless thrall about the Beholders. 
They resemble floating eyeballs with many eye stalks, and each of their eyes ca can cast a fire blast with different magical power. Pain, slowness, petrification, even disintegration. There's no limit to how often they can use these abilities, so be wary. Should you find yourself in their tunnels, it's best to find a way back out as quickly as possible. Okay, we know kind of what the Draugr are. The Draugr are gray-skinned cousins of the Hargluck, uh, the surface dwarves. They are a dour and industrious folk, more prone to cunning and wickedness than their surface brethren. The Draugr have many reasons to hate the Drow intensely, but many of their kind are mercenary enough to hire themselves out to whoever has the wealth to offer them, and the Valsharez is one of those. Okay, you mentioned the Valsharez coming. The Seer sighs heavily. I won't lie to you. Our collection of rebels here is nothing against the power of the Valsharez. We have been doing little but running up at, to this point. Uh, here in Lithmyathar, we have decided to make our stand but we know we stand little chance against the mighty forces that has aligned herself with the Valsharez. Okay. So way back to the surface from here. Now that I'm aware of, it might be possible to find a way to teleport back to the surface, but I wonder if the geese placed upon you would prevent you from taking it. Hmm. Okay, something else. So how can I weaken the Valsharez? That I cannot say. Though I am a seer, my visions are limited to what Elystra chooses to reveal to me. Sadly, I have not seen how to weaken the Valsharez. Uh, however, both Nathira and Valen have offered to help you with this. Uh, speak to them and they may be able to give you some guidance as to what you must do. Okay. Need some healing. Thank God. I mean, we're going to sit down anyways, but... Okay, the Valen. believes you are the prophetical savior, our only hope of defeating the Valsharess. I, however, do not believe in prophecies. Still, you are obviously capable in your own right, and we need all the help we can get if we're to win this war. So I'm willing to take a chance. Hmm. We're all on the same side here. Yes, we are, which is why I'm willing to help you, despite the fact that I know nothing about you. Hopefully, you'll prove that the Seer's faith in you is justified. Okay, you said that you could help me against the Valsharez. Recently, I've heard tales of some strange islands nearby. Based on the legends, there may be something on these islands that could help us against the Valsharez. Islands? There are islands here? Does that surprise you? There are many rivers and lakes here in the Underdark, and many settlements have ports or docks. The Lith Myathar ports are located just east of here. They say there's an island inhabited by powerful golems. These would be particularly useful against the Valsharez and her army. I've also heard of a strange settlement that appeared overnight on previously de deserted isle. That sounds like the work of a powerful artifact, one we might be able to make use of ourselves. Of course, what I've heard are really just rumors from those who have traveled the river. I guess uh, Cavalas, the boatman, would probably know more. Okay. I want to know more about you. Tieflin gives you a hard stare. I'm a warrior, a soldier. You would be hard pressed to find more, one more skilled with a blade than I am. And like the seer, I stand against the Valsharez. You're effortless, buddy. I can wipe you out, brother. <laughs> uh, I don't think you're entitled to much more than that, since I barely even know you. The seer may think you're something special, but I'm reserving judgment until the Valsharez is defeated. Have any information? Okay, tell me about this Cavalas. <clears throat> Cavalas is odd. He willingly transports followers of the Seer up and down the river free of charge, but otherwise seems unwilling to take an active role in our conflict with the Valsharez. He willingly gives out information and shares rumors he has heard during his travels, yet he asks nothing in return. Plus, he shows no fear of anyone or anything. Where can I find him? He'll be in the ports to the east unless he's ferrying someone across the river. If you ask, he can probably tell you more about the golems and that strange town that appeared out of nowhere. Okay, I'll be going now. Be well. Greetings. The drow regards you with a curious expression as you approach her. Pale, brow, art. So now you know everything. The Valsharess, who we are, why we're here, all of it. 
what we're doing here is very important. Yeah. Uh, I agree, a drought queen teamed up with a powerful devil. Deadly combination. She seems to speak and then regards you with slightly suspicious expression. Now, I'm not sure if you're being serious or not. The Valsherez is no joke. Huh? Huh? <laughs> I, I didn't. I didn't expect that to be like a sarcastic response. I, 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 I thought it was pretty literal. <laughs> All right. I'm absolutely serious. They must be stopped without question. Studies you closely, and after a moment, nod slowly. Then perhaps the seer was correct after all. I suppose we shall see. Tell me about the Valsherez and her allies. <clears throat> Many of those who support the Valsherez, like the Illithid and the Beholders, dwell in the caverns to the west of the village. The western caverns are also likely source of her undead horde. You may be able to remove these allies from her cause. I know something about each of these groups, so don't be afraid to ask me for information if you need it. You know about the Elithids. Creatures you call Mind Flayers are a race of telepaths capable of reading thoughts and controlling minds. They are known for keeping a horde of uh, dominated thralls and servants and guards. These creatures are ruled over by entities known as Overminds. The Valsherez may has many Elithid in her army, and she's likely has recruited the the aid of several Overminds. To the west of here, uh, Zorvac Mur, a small Elithid colony. If we can find the Zorvac Overmind, yeah, Zorvac Mur Overmind, it could be persuaded to convince the other Overminds to withdraw the Lithid support to the Valsherez. Hmm. I was one fight against such creatures. She shrugs. Never had to, truth be told. I assume they fall to the blade like any other creature. Their bodies seem weak, in fact. Uh, it is their mental powers you must be aware of. I believe Imolf has more experience with combating their like. Ask him if you truly want some advice. Okay. Something else. With a... Get control of an undead horde. That isn't entirely clear. We've heard rumors of a cult of necromancers nearby that is supplying the Valsherez with the undead, though where they get their parts from is unknown. We believe the cult is also located in the caverns to the west of here, though where precisely I couldn't say. Uh, if we find them, we can find the source of the undead and destroy it. And lastly, the Beholders. I do not think the Valsherez commands many of these Beholders, though many are not needed. Uh, each of them carries the ability of mag fire magical rays from its eye stalks with high varying effects. All of them come from a single hive located somewhere to the west of here. We destroy the eye tyrant ruling over them, the colony will collapse and the Valsherez will lose their support. How does one fight against the Beholders? Carefully. If you can place some kind of magical resistance on yourself, that will offer protection against their eye rays, which they will use against you first to try to keep a distance. The rays are not their only weapon, however. Some Beholders are accomplished wizards, and as a last resort, their bite can also be quite deadly. The average Beholder has no special armor or protection against magic and weapons, however. Uh, what kills most will also kill them. Is it possible to negotiate with these creatures? Creatures, I doubt we have anything to offer. The mere fact that the Eye Tyrant ruling them has chosen to ally herself with the Valsherez means she believes our enemy to be far stronger than we. Okay. I know something else. Okay, what about the Devil she enslaved? There's nothing I know of that could combat her powers, his powers directly, but by all reports, he did not leave the Valsherez's side. Fight her, and you also fight him. One thing to consider, however, is the possibility that there, of there being artifacts of great power that could be found and used to match the devil. I wish I could tell you where to look for such things, but I can't. Others like Valen could probably help you more. Okay. That's all I wanted to know. Okay. How can I assist you? So let me see here. Nah, it doesn't have anything, so that's probably somewhere in there. Alright. What's upstairs? Um no. Dang. We can't do that.
Looks like a bunch of them are practicing archery. Yes, Deacon? Um, we really... Is we, we is really in Underdark. We is really, really in Underdark. Hmm. So we are. No way out of here. You didn't mention... Okay. I know I'm not very happy about that either. You not be happy? Deacon's tone is incredulous as he stares at you as if you have suddenly turned into a green ape. Why you not be happy? This is wonderful. Deacon runs around on the spot, waving his hands in the air excitedly. Deacon read so much about Underdark, now Deacon actually be here. This be so good for Deacon's book. Epic Hero goes into Ed Deadly Underdark, sequel to greatest book ever. Hmm. You're not scared to be in the Underdark at all. Scared? Deacon wants so bad to travel to Underdark earlier during journeys, except he knows he just ends up slave to Tentacle Head or fed to Drow Spider maybe. But now, now Deacon be in Underdark with great epic hero. Deacon gets to travel Underdark while solving urgent mission of doom. Be really cool, boss. Hmm. I suppose you're right. Oh, Deacon's right. Uh, you come around to Deacon's way of thinking soon, boss. It's be greatest adventure, you see. So are we technically in chapter two? Are we in chapter two at this point? Because I thought it would have given us like a, like a thing. I guess we are in chapter two. Weird. All right. Um, I miss my sword. My other sword, you know. So this is the public house. You ever played Dragon's Dogma? Long time ago. one named person in here and that's it. Yes. What do you want? Though her clothes are somewhat worn, the Strauf female is obviously no mere noble. Despite her shabby state and meager surroundings, she still exudes an air of arrogant confidence. So, you're the reveal that the seer believes will save us all, hmm? A human male, I'm not impressed. Who are you? The drow suddenly laughs. I find you amusing for a surfacer. I am Brizafe, uh, matron mother of the house of Dina. Dina. Dini. <laughs> uh, at least what's left of it. She points at the two nearby guards. As you can see, uh, house Dina has fallen on hard times indeed. I don't even have a daughter plotting to overthrow me and nothing for her to claim if she did. What happened? Uh, we made the mistake of challenging the Valsheres, but unlike House Mavir, we had no ancestral home outside the cities we could retreat to. Our armies were slaughtered, my daughters hunted down and slain one by one by the Red Sisters, assassins who served the Valsheres. Only I escaped. Alone, except for my last two bodyguards. I came like a beggar to the House of Mavir, once our bitter, bitter rival, now our ally against the Valsheres. A fate far more humiliating than death. House Mavir gave me shelter. They brought me here uh, with them when they fled the city. Now I wait, I sit and wait for them to have their final fall, so I may enjoy it, even though, even as they enjoyed mine. Hmm. They took you in and now you revel in their destruction? They took me in so they could gloat over my defeat. The matron mother of House Mavir helped me escape only to prolong my suffering. My misery brings her some small measure of joy. I know this because I have done the same, I would have done the same had our positions been reversed, and I endured the humiliation because I knew I would get to witness House Mavir's own destruction. Hmm. What are you tell me about this camp? This camp is doomed. The seer foolishly pl places her hope in you, and House Mavir is desperate enough to join them. An alliance of enemies united against a foe that will eradicate them all but I have seen the full scope of the Valsherez's power. 
Um, everyone here will be destroyed, that's why I'm here. To watch others fall as House Deny fell. Uh, to revel in their destruction. You're a bitter, bitter woman. I once ruled one of the great houses. Servants bowed down before me. I was bathed in oils and perfumes. Now I am reduced to living in squalor at the whim of a rival house, crammed into a common barracks with the despicable followers of Elystre. But I am not bitter, not anymore. My life is a festering pit of despair, but I have found one joy, one small glimmer of happiness. Though I am beaten, I still have the pleasure of watching House Mavir fall by my side. Not if you do anything to betray this camp. <laughs> I'm just a lonely woman. I have no power over events that is to come. But even if I could, there would be no purpose in betraying the camp. Why betray someone who is doomed anyway? She laughs. Yes, nothing heals the wounds like your own defeats. What? Like your own defeats. Of your own defeats, like watching others fall. The Valsharez will destroy House Mavir and the Seer. I just hope I'm here to see it. Why well, aren't you just fancy? Okay. I'll be going now. Into this one, I guess. This is Medvir's. Hey, what's up? <clears throat> this female drow appears younger than many of the others in the camp, though she is. It is obvious from her bearing that she is a person of importance. So, you are the reveal. Uh, reveal the seer has put her faith in. A Terry's, isn't it? My name is Zessir. <clears throat> Only daughter to the sole surviving heir of the matron Mehrun of House Mavir. I was hoping you would come to see me, Atarius. I have, I have an offer for you, but it would draw too much attention if I had sought you out. But since you've stumbled over to me, what kind of offer? House Mavir, my house, has fallen on hard times. Matron Mehrun, my mother, has brought us to the very brink of destruction. Many believe it is time for a change. Many believe I should rule. Of course, my mother is no fool. She understands the danger I represent, which is why she exiled me from the tower where she now dwells. She thinks she's safe inside the high walls. Your own mother kicks you out? That's sad. Deacon, sorry for you, drow lady. <clears throat> she may have kicked me out, but she underestimated me. I have more support than she knows, and all I need to complete my coup is an assassin powerful enough to kill her and her bodyguard. Deacon takes it back. Your mother be smart to kick you out. You <laughs> is scary. Uh, I won't be party to this horrible crime. You are quick con to condemn me, Ateris, but you don't have all the facts. You shouldn't judge me until you know the whole story. I know my mother. She doesn't believe we can defeat the Valsharez, and she's afraid. Do you really believe she will fight by the seer's side when the Valsharez attacks? Matron Mehrun will betray your seer the first chance she gets. I, however, actually believe we can defeat the Valsharez. I won't turn on my allies at the first sign of trouble. I should believe someone trying to kill her own mother. Uh, well, what do I have to do? I'll, I'll probably end up talking with her prior to, you know, killing her, but, you know, it's, it is what it is. This is, this is just drow culture. <laughs> like, a uh, lot of, lot of backstabbing and overthrowing and all that sort of stuff. Uh, the plan is simple enough. I will give you my signet ring. Take this to the guards outside my mother's tower to the north. They have already sworn their allegiance to me. Show them the ring, and they will let you into the tower while they summon my mother and her guard, uh, Tevimar. When they arrive, kill them. If you do this, I will see you an ample... You are amply rewarded. 20,000 gold pieces, not to mention the knowledge that House Mavir will stand with you when the Valsharis comes. All right, I'll do it. The drow smiles. You can't help but feel a chill. Excellent. Take my signet ring and show it to the guards by the tower to the north. After that, the rest is up to you. Satisfied that she has what she wants from you, uh, Zazir, Zazir dismisses you with a simple wave of her hand. 